Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the Viking Ruby 90. It came out in 2021 and its more premium version is the well-known Designer 2. Let's start with the positives. You have 12 inches to the right of the needle and 5.5 inches of height in that throat space, which is a lot of space for doing both sewing and embroidery projects. You get a larger bobbin, which means that you have to change out the bobbin less frequently. Uh, the hoop sizes are great because you get a large 14 by 10 hoop as the largest hoop, and then you get a 10 by 7.8 and a 4.7 by 4.7. Uh, those hoops are snap-in hoops, but you also have access to purchase uh, magnetic hoops at a later date, which I think is great. The machine also gives you access to an app called SoNet, where you can access the machine via Wi-Fi and be able to drop files on there without having to use a flash drive. And you can also check on the status of your projects while you are away from your machine. Likewise, you are able to import images and then convert those images to embroidery files that you can then stitch out. This is more of a common feature that is found on a lot of embroidery machines now, but nonetheless, it still is a wonderful feature. Uh, the machine also has two USB ports, whereas most sewing and embroidery units only have one. According to the brochure, there are six alphabets, 800 stitches, and 650 built-in embroidery designs. The machine comes with a fully automatic needle threader, and you also have changeable needle plates. One is a straight stitch, and the other one is a zigzag. I have spoken a lot about the positive features about the Ruby 90. Now let's get into some of the negatives of the machine. And before I get started with the negatives, please nobody get offended in the comments section. I'm just trying to give a well-rounded review here. Retailers don't typically share their pricing, but I was able to find out some details about the pricing. Their retail price for this is $14,999. Last week, the sale price was $12,499, but this week, the sale price is $11,999 at the location that I went to. Uh, if you were to trade in an existing Viking embroidery and sewing machine, then you could get the machine for $10,000. I think that it is an extremely, extremely high price for a sewing and embroidery machine, especially one that is really considered for home use. Um, I didn't really find any features on it that stood out enough to me to justify its high price tag. Uh, this is not a comparisons video. However, I cannot help but to think about the Bernina 770 which is also a machine of a higher price tag. That particular machine has a built-in walking foot and it also has a free arm that can be used while doing embroidery. Uh, the benefit of having a free arm while embroidering is that you can put a bag under the machine and not have the bottom end of the bag stitched into your embroidery. Uh, instead, it stitches out beautifully and you don't have to worry about pinning the bottom end of the of the bag out of the way so that it doesn't get stitched together. Um, the Ruby 90 does not have that feature. Uh, so it is just a flatbed embroidery machine, which means you will have to pin your bag out of the way if you choose to embroider on a bag. Also, it does not have a built-in walking foot, which is a major downside to me if you are going to be using this machine for sewing. Uh, I was not particularly excited about the stitch quality on the Ruby 90 either, because when I received my sample, some of the top stitches showed through on the back, and I don't even have that issue with my $400 Brother embroidery machine, which is crazy to me. Um, another thing is that the stitches per minute were quite slow. Uh, the manual says that the machine will stitch up to a thousand stitches per minute, but both times when I went to demo this machine, I asked the reps 
what speed the machine could go to and neither one of them seemed to know which i found quite interesting because the machine stitched out very very slow and on screen it said that the design would take three minutes to stitch out but it took far longer than three minutes for it to stitch out because i was actually looking at my phone and timing it as it was stitching Ruby 90 is not one of my personal favorites because it is expensive and I don't really see any features on the machine that justify the price. However, if you are able to get this machine at a discounted price, then I say, why not? If you are a business owner, then I really would not recommend getting this machine because it would be far too slow for you. Instead, I would recommend getting something like the Happy Japan Journey, which is around the same price range. And then you could also get a home sewing machine to use for your regular sewing and you would still come out in the same price range. Uh, and you would have a multi-needle machine that goes much faster and it's more capable for your work. Uh, also, there are a lot of Chinese multi-needle machines out there as well. And um, I'll leave a link somewhere here on screen of a video that I did about Chinese multi-needle embroidery machines. Uh, well, I hope that this information was helpful to you in deciding whether or not to get a Ruby 90 sewing machine. So with that, I will say, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing related content. Peace.